can't, I'm not sure if this is going to be for a video or not. Um, but what I wanted to talk about was how information came to me for different modalities of healing. What would happen is I had a need to heal emotional wounds from life, childhood, teenage years, as they'd all resulted in not nice behavior patterns, thought patterns, just living a life that wasn't truly mine. It was when I heard Brooke Castillo say that you can choose your thoughts. Or not the initial thought, but the judgment that you make after you have the thought. That you can take a millisecond and decide if you're going to overreact or be upset or if you're going to take things in stride and remain positive and that was a life changer for me and so when I asked God or the universe or the higher power or whoever you believe in I chose to address him at the time as my Heavenly Father I've always felt a deep connection with whatever higher power there is and I always looked at it as a father-daughter relationship so I asked God to be my counselor and my therapist because I didn't have time to buy more money to invest in the therapist at the time so I think I used the word counselor because that would be more like what he would be like and <clears throat> so I started talking to him more than I ever had and the answer started to come in the form of thoughts which I now understand is receiving information through the power of the Spirit or accessing my own higher self. So, sometimes the source is very clear and sometimes it's like, that could be from the Spirit or that could be from my higher self or maybe it's all just the same, who knows. But, things started to also show up in the physical world as well. I, there would be things showing up in my YouTube feed that I hadn't searched for, basically. It was how I learned that my personality type is INFJ, and um, I'll put it on the video. Pretentious, right? It's really good. I keep smiling because <laughs> this fellow that I'm messaging is just truly the sweetest, the sweetest man. Okay. Um, things would show up, INFJ, right. And then that was when I learned what an empath was. And then everything made sense. And there was clarity and understanding and peace and comfort. Because then I understood what was happening. I'd already learned the basis of energy and that everything on a quantum level was connected. I understood already energy fields, personal energy fields that each of us have, um, which is basically like the electrical current that keeps our spirit in our physical body. When I learned that an empath is able to pick up on another person's emotions and feel them, I was like, oh, I do that all the time. I can tell what someone is feeling and sometimes even not necessarily specifically what they're thinking, but what they're thinking. Not only that, I learned that I was an intuitive empath because I would also gain understanding behind the feelings, source material, recommendations for help, things that would help in the situation, offerings of guidance uh, would come to my mind. All of these things prepared me for the time that I learned that the source of my spiritual faith was no longer true. 
true. It couldn't be true for me anymore. I'm not going to get into specifics because that wouldn't be fair. I will say it would be important to read the CES letter. If you have a sincere desire to take a bold faced look at your religion, I would encourage you to do that. So, when my testimony in Joseph Smith dissolved, I realized that I already had this spiritual strength and spiritual authority with direct connection to Source to carry through in the life that I was supposed to be leading in the first place. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'm constantly evolving and changing myself to the version that I'm supposed to be so that my higher self and what you see in the physical world can be as close as possible. I've got lots of insight and videos to share. I'm grateful that you took the time to stick through all that and please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, share it if you think that somebody would like it and you guys take care and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!